As I sat with Karen Spates on her porch in Norfolk, Virginia, it suddenly started to pour, and her street and driveway began to flood. How's this for a storm? Nothing. She's used to this nuisance flooding, living along the Elizabeth River in Southeast Virginia. Have you seen it get worse throughout your life? I have. And to be honest, I didn't pay that much attention to it. But now a heavy storm at high tide can leave a foot of water in her home. It's almost like it has to be the perfect storm. That's when I'm afraid. So let's verify. Are rising sea levels threatening coastal communities in the U.S.? Our sources, two oceanographers, Norfolk, Virginia's chief resilience officer, a climate change nonprofit, and two homeowners in Norfolk, Virginia. Are sea levels rising right now? Sea levels are rising. William Sweet is an oceanographer with NOAA. Sea level is going up across the entirety of the U.S. coastlines. Ben Hamlington heads the NASA sea level change team. Both agencies monitor sea levels using tide gauges, a century-old technology, as well as satellites. Their data show the sea level along parts of the east and Gulf Coast is rising an inch every five to seven years. What's causing this? Two part ice melt, one part thermal expansions. Global warming is melting glaciers and sea ice, adding water to the ocean. And the ocean is absorbing excess heat from greenhouse gases in the atmosphere causing it to expand. And on top of that, the land in some coastal areas is slowly sinking. Flooding that used to not occur now is occurring on sunny days. And with the warming climate, sea level rise is expected to accelerate and cause 5 to 15 times more flooding in some areas by 2050. When you have that larger sea level, the impacts of a storm is certainly going to be that much worse in the future. 40% of the U.S. population lives in coastal counties, and a 2019 study found sea level rise could displace 13 million Americans by 2100. Unless we do something about it. So we came to Norfolk, Virginia, a city making urgent moves. Here in Norfolk, the water is rising faster than anywhere else on the East Coast, up a foot and a half over the past century, and expected to rise another five feet by 2100. Where we are standing safely, in coming decades, we'd be standing with waders on in the same spot. Skip Stiles heads the nonprofit Wetlands Watch. He showed us the Larchmont neighborhood, where streets flood on sunny days. Well, usually they're fishing here, but I guess it's been too hot lately. During storms, homes here are often damaged, and roads are impassable for emergency vehicles. FEMA has helped elevate around 25 waterfront houses in this upscale neighborhood. We're preserving the lifestyle of folks here, but at some point it becomes untenable. And when that is, who knows? Norfolk has 10,000 homes in a severe flood hazard area. So that's why we're trying to stay out in front of the problem. Doug Beaver is the city's chief resilience officer. They've launched one of the boldest resilience plans in the U.S. to combat rising sea levels. They've nearly finished this 11-foot berm and two pump stations protecting the Chesterfield Heights neighborhood, paid for with a $112 million federal grant. And it's just the beginning. They want to raise the downtown seawall, build new barriers, elevate roads, and improve the city's stormwater system. They plan to spend $1.8 billion in the coming decades. Norfolk alone won't be able to carry this burden. A study from the Center for Climate Integrity found fortifying all U.S. coastlines with seawalls could cost $400 billion by 2040, with $30 billion just for Virginia. At what point is it more cost effective? to try to help people retreat. There'll be places where we think that managed retreat will be the right solution. There'll be areas that we think elevating homes will be the right solution. And there'll be places where we think projects like this will be the right solution. FEMA and the city have only bought out and demolished three Norfolk homes so far. They were all on this block. Did they make you an offer? They did, yes. Joe Sleeper owns the next house over. He turned FEMA down three years ago to avoid a financial loss but now he'd reconsider. It would be easier than trying to sell it. There are nearly 1,000 Norfolk homes on FEMA's list of severe repetitive loss properties. Karen Spate's house is one of them. She grew up here and now lives with her 93-year-old mother. They've suffered three severe floods. She now pays $400 a month in flood insurance. How difficult is that? It's very difficult. I could not sustain that amount. The only way to drive down the cost is to remodel. Did you think about selling? Property value has already gone down. What would I sell it for? So she just took out a $100,000 loan to fortify her house instead. The flood insurance should go down. She says the home just needs to survive her lifetime. I believe with the work that I'm doing that I can be here 
30 years. Karen may be a good fit for a new program in Norfolk. It offers incentives to developers who want to build in safer areas if they buy out vulnerable properties and put the land in a conservation easement. The homeowner gets paid and can stay until the house floods or the water level gets dangerously close. Then the home gets demolished. I can tell you people who have this situation, if somebody comes along and offers you some cash money so you can get out of your house, you'll take it. But the city stresses there are no plans to flee the waterfront. Well, this project right here will last this community 80 to 100 years. So we would hope that we will get to a tipping point of that curve not continuing to rise. So you're hoping this will buy you enough time to actually fix the problem yes. of rising sea levels? Yes. So we can verify, rising sea levels are threatening millions of Americans in coastal areas. And some cities will need to spend billions of dollars in the coming years to protect their communities. I can't run from this. I have to do something. And if it doesn't work, all of us are in trouble. With your Verify, I'm Gabe Cohen.